my name is Aaron Crouch, as the lovely Joyce just said. And today I'll be singing Il Mio Tesoro from Don Giovanni by Mozart. By who? Mozart. Oh, Mozart. Yeah. Composer. Right. This is by Wagner. <laughs> don't like you. I have, <laughs> we have a fantastic, a fantastic mezzo-soprano in the Clemenza di Tito. She's like 12. Emily D'Angelo, you might have heard of her. If you haven't, you will. 
She should not be that good at 24. She's 24. Dude. You have so much talent, I don't even know what to say. Oh, God. It's no, really, it's, it's, it's extraordinary. But even, even more than that, and this is the thing I will plead of you, you have a joy of singing. And this joy is, uh, it's a treasure. We don't use that word so much anymore, but it is something to treasure. Not to protect in the terms of defend it, doesn't need a wall around it, <laughs> but to, to nurture it, to hold it dear, like when you love somebody. This is what I want you to do for this love of singing that you have. Because you're at the start of, a, of what could be a challenging path. It isn't always. Sometimes it's a snap for people. I don't like them either. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but especially as a tenor, you know, there's going to be a lot of technical one step forward, three steps back, <coughs> four steps to the side, uh, upside down, do the, you know, just as you find your voice. Do you mind to share what you mentioned this morning about, like, your recent journey as a tenor and the... Uh, oh, you mean, like, when I mentioned me being 11? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, and, like, how your voice changed, oh, etc. yeah, I, You don't have to, but... Oh, I can. No, no yeah. problem. Um, I started singing in high school, and I, my voice was kind of the same since I was, like, five. I'm a bit of a late bloomer. I went through puberty two years ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> I kind of, like, it was like, you know, I was like, oh, my gosh, I want to be the next Lawrence Brownlee, and I want to sing Rossini. And then, like, I woke up, and I, like, lost, like, a sixth of my range, and I couldn't really sing above, like, an E. Yeah. And I was like, maybe I'm a baritone. I'm going to try to sing Belcore and yeah. all that stuff, and that was wrong, too. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so now we're here. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to exactly where you are, right? This is cool. I think we talked about this a little bit today. I think your current challenge is going to be a little bit letting yourself be where you are without making yourself be where you're pretty sure you'll end up. I mean, we hear you and we're pretty sure there's a big major talent in there that needs to be heard on the world stages, right? But you can't be there just yet. It's just going to come back, be a little patient, maybe take the foot off the gas a little bit, and maybe not try to create the sound you want to hear. Because we can do that. We can create really good sound here. And we do that by usually manufacturing and you know, mm -hmm. and it's for, it's for this world. We don't do it purposefully, yeah. but that's because we love it so much. We know what we want to sound like, so we go for the sound. And the work is disconnect from the sound. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I know, no it's problem. a little bit like cue the right, right. It's like we have oh. to say goodbye to the child, you know, okay. <laughs> the sound is not for us. The sensation is ours. And you guys don't get that. <laughs> That's ours, you know? And the sensation, when it's flowing and easy and released, is, it's pretty glorious. When that sensation is that, usually the sound will be pretty glorious too. But the minute you go for the sound, we lose the ease, and, and we lose the acoustic naturalness that this is built towards. So you're going to have just to exhibit patience mm -hmm. and do this. You're clearly so smart. You're clearly ambitious, and you have all of this lined up. Now you get to roll up your sleeves. And I guarantee you this. I guarantee it. If you slow down and do the work, the easy work. I mean, it's, not, it's, a, it's challenging, and it's um, uh, diligent work to bring the ease of singing. Mm -hmm. You're going to win decades to your career. You're going to win infinite level and, and, and um, options and possibilities to the color of your sound 
to the range of your dynamics, to the expressive capability, you are already clearly have breath for days. <laughs> this is good. I mean, we, there, there were some people that were like, <laughs> that's a long phrase. Um, so if you can give yourself the gift of sitting back a little bit. Yeah. That finish line is a long way away from you. It's not this summer. It's not two years from now. It's not what grad school you get into. That's not the finish line. The finish line is Matthew Polinsani having sung 20 some years, still sounding fresh and elegant and everything on the stage of the Metropolitan Opera. And that's not even his finish line, thankfully, but this is, this is where we're going. And it's a very hard thing in today's climate to have a long-term view. It's really hard. Be the exception. Be the exception. I actually, I actually don't want to work this yet. I, I wanted you to sing, and I love what you brought to it, and tomorrow I want to get in and work with you. Okay. I don't know why. Because the work is great, but I just, I want you to take this and digest it. You did great work with Deb this morning. I want you to go back and imagine that we were on a, a ball, a, one of those big soft balls, breathing into that so you feel the buoyancy of that. And also, tomorrow we're going to find 11-year-old Aaron again a little bit <laughs> and just kind of loosen it up. We don't need opera singer Aaron. The world does not need that. We need Aaron, the musician, the artist, the pure vocalist, and whatever form that takes. But please don't stand up here and be an opera singer. It's just routine. It's not interesting, you know? Give us Don Ottavio through the channel of Aaron, who is 20 years old and loves singing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like the best thing is I want you to just digest that a little bit. Is that cool? Yeah. Totally maybe fine. we come back to this tomorrow. Maybe okay. we do Las Dallas Apache or something else. Yeah. But the world has heard you. We've all, I told you guys you're going to fall in love, right? <laughs> I told you. And I want you to just rest and let that digest. You're such a treasure. Oh, thank what? you. <laughs> take your bow, take your bow. Oh.